All right, for required tools, we have, first off, our saw. Setters, jointers, files, saw vise, lights, and as always, hot chocolate. Our optional tools are sharpies, screwdrivers, sandpaper, form of measurement, and rubbing alcohol. To start this off, what we're going to do is we're going to come up about two inches, so right about here, and we're just going to sand it. And for this part, you can go over the teeth. And the sandpaper you'll be using will depend on how badly your saw is rusted. So I'll be using 220 because it's not too badly rusted. You've cleaned of about an inch to two inches above your teeth and actually gone over the teeth a little bit. We're going to switch it over and do the same to this side. And if you guys know why I do this part, why I sand about an inch to two inches above the teeth, let me know in the comments and I will recognize you in the next video. Alright, so once you've got your two inches done on each side, just clamp your saw on the vise and try to keep it even on this side, this side, because we're going to joint it and we don't want the saw to bow on us or flex at all. So just check that and check to see if everything's looking nice on the saw, which it looks like it. Okay, so. With the Sharpie, what I'm going to be doing is touching every point of the saw. So when we joint it, we can see if we've touched the points. Alright, so I got my jointer in, or my file in my jointer, and I'm just going to go slowly for the first pass across the teeth. If you look at it, it hasn't got all the teeth yet. I'm just going to give another pass all the way down the saw. If you guys look really close, there's no marker showing at any of the points. So that means we are done with jointing the top of our teeth. So what I like to do after I joint the saw is I like to put a J. I don't have to bite the um, board so we can use that on the sharpening and setting. So this is for jointing and we jointed it across twice. So for sharpening we have to determine that. And for setting, we have to figure out what the points per inch is for that also. But the reason I like doing this is, say you're trying to sell a saw, the more you joint, the more you're probably going to want to sell the saw for because you're going to have to do a lot more sharpening. And if you have to sharpen a lot more, price goes up and say if you walk away from your sharpening your saw so you only sharpen half your saw you'll want to know what you do for setting each tooth so half the saw isn't really low half the saw is really high for teeth and because not all saws are what they say they are for points per inch I like to mark down the saw points per inch also all right, for setting now, I'm going to be using this really old nice file. Used it too many times though, and it's starting to get really dull. So this is a crosscut pattern. So I'm just going to go across.
Alright, so I've gotten down this uh, fair amount, and the two strokes per each tooth is working out really well. If you guys look, there's no dull point. So, I'm just going to keep doing two strokes. Alright, so I just got done sharpening it, and it looks really good, but before I set it, I want to try it out, see if I need to sharpen it a little bit more. So, let's give it a shot. Alright, for this one I'm going to be pushing with two hands and pushing decently hard. And that worked out really good. Minimal tear out, which is perfect. If you guys look down here, the Sawdust looks really good. So it's two and two, because when it goes up, we're going two here, two here, two there, two there. All right, guys, so for now, I'm going to hold off on setting the teeth, because it cut really well in that really hard, like a oak wood, I believe it is. So for now, we're just gonna leave it unset because we don't wanna overset it. So I'd rather have it underset and apply a little bit more pressure, have better looking wood than to have waste wood. So we'll leave the set undone for now and once Joel restores the actual blade all the wood or the metal and wood then I'll possibly come back and set it but for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it out on some different forms of wood and see if I get the same result same result or if it's different. If it's the same result as we just had, then there's no need to set it. But if we do get a different result and it starts to want to bind a little bit, then we'll obviously set it. And once Joel cleans all of the blade, which I'll have him do before he does the handle, I will come by and I'll have a separate video just on how to tension the saw so, which is a big part because on this one I can't see it of course but there's a big curve towards the bottom down here so that's not always the best thing to have but we'll fix that towards the very end so uh, Joel's not going to be putting out a video on how to restore this anytime soon because he went back to his, he's back at his property and he doesn't have time right now so we might restore this on our own. I, I'm not sure about that yet. You guys can watch for it and if you guys have been watching my channel I've been posting on... I believe it was Monday or Tuesday so I might incorporate that into th we might do three videos a week so because I have a lot of content I want to show you guys and two feels a little bit too light for me I need 
I feel like I should be putting out at least three videos a week. So if you guys haven't already seen the subscriber giveaway number two and number one, I'll provide links in the description for both of those. Giveaway number one will be this saw and giveaway number one will be this one which in the video I describe it backwards that's that's explained in the s number two so if you're interested the links in the description or you can click the end card at the very end for both videos so I will see you guys on the next video and Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment on those subscriber giveaways so you guys can be entered to win the giveaway because it will be going from, it was Christmas Day, so three days ago, all the way to January 25th, just to give you guys a full month of basically wait time. So everyone gets a chance to enter in if they would like to. So see you guys later.